today we have some big, big, big news from the new EV set Prismatic Evolutions. As you guys can see here, we have some of the special illustration rares for all the EV cards. This came out on Poke Beach uh, yesterday. And as of this is Tuesday, November 6th, about 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time as of recording. And we can see all of the Evolution SIRs here. I have a better photo, don't worry. Uh, we're gonna take a better look at these. Uh, but EV Umbreon, Sylveon, Espeon, Jolteon, Glaceon, Vaporeon, Flareon, and Leafeon. I got a, there was a better picture that surfaced on Reddit. We're gonna take a look at that in a second. You probably saw it in the thumbnail of this video. But this is all we got when we got this on Poke Beach. And you see how blurry these are? You can still get a vibe, right, for everything that's going on. I love the Leafeon card. Like, I really like how green it is. They really leaned into, obviously, like each, uh, you know, different evolution. And, you know, a lot of people don't like the crowns, but these cards, you know, I, I, I think this might be maybe controversial like some people really like these some people really hate these uh and you know pull rates are going to be a factor and how many people can get it but i have a feeling that these cards are going to do really well i think so i think they're going to be really popular um but anyways uh we're going to go on to a better quality photo of that but uh this is the news from pokey beach um they were saying also i thought this was interesting it appears Umbreon is once again in front of the moon, but I kind of thought, like, I could see that being the moon, but I also could see, is that the sun? Just because of the colors? I think it's the moon, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, we'll look at a higher quality photo here. So let me uh, do you guys a favor, and I will take my webcam off for a second so we can take a gander at these in a little bit better quality. Now, this isn't, like, amazing quality. But this is good enough, right? Uh, also, it must be the moon. It says Moon Mirage. Also, this is English? Usually we get Japanese first. Anyways, uh, that's interesting. So Leafeon, we'll start, we'll take a look at each of these cards. We got Leafeon over here, uh, just in a tree. We've got some flowers or something chilling. Um, I think that's very fitting for the Pokemon. Obviously Flareon's got like a bunch of fire swirling around. Got the whole, see, I, you know, I think I like the Flareon. Not that I, I don't really mind the crowns. Um, sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't, but the Flareon's one's a lot bigger. I like the Leafeon one where it's a little bit more in the background and like on the Jolteon, you can't really see them as much, but, um, yeah, I guess it's just a personal preference, right? Um, the Flareon's swirling. It looks like Flareon's in like a ring. Is that like the one ring? No, I know it's not the one ring, but it's got like writing on it. So I don't know. Flareon's in a f flaming ring. So that's interesting. Um, Vaporeon. It's is this like in front of like a stained glass? Is kind of what it looks like underwater. That looks pretty cool. Vaporeon looks real happy. Uh, Glaceon just ice, right? Just got some ice around it. It's hanging out. Um, yeah, it's cool. I do, the Jolteon once again a little bit more like zoomed in, just running with some lightning. Uh, Espeon. It's Espeon's in like. A little field of flowers and stuff it looks like sylveon's just doing sylveon things and then the umbreon the umbreon apparently it is the moon according to the card okay i i just thought because of the colors it could have been the sun okay but uh this uh, obviously is probably going to be the top dog it's not hard to say uh evie over here looking adorable uh very adorable but umbreon this is something Something we need to talk about dollar-wise. I mean, we saw what the Moonbreon did. Is This is apparently another Moonbreon. I don't, I don't want to say anything. I don't think it could be Moonbreon level, but we'll see. There's a lot of hype coming around this set. Um, really cool also that we get all of these artworks in, you know, in, in one set. We got all the evolutions in one set, and I think that's really fun. Um, it'll be interesting how these play. Like, I'm not super into the TCG. I'm still, like, learning. It'll be interesting, like, how these affect the TCG. I don't know if you could play all of these. They use a lot of different types of energy, so I don't know how that's going to work. But, like, their big attacks all use, are, like, fire, water, and lightning. Or over here, like, it uses all of the types of energy. So I don't, I don't know how that's going to work. Maybe you just have to, like, slot one type in. I don't know. It's interesting, though. Um... We're going to take a look at, I'm going to turn my uh, cam back on for a second here. And uh, we're going to take a look at some other Prismatic Evolution stuff right here. So as of this recording, this is Pokemon Center. Uh, we knew that the Pokemon Center ETBs, they sold out in about 10 hours. 
the surprise boxes have sold out as well. These are just for pre-orders. They'll, they'll most likely come back into stock again, so don't freak out. But <clears throat> booster bundles, they are currently available for pre-order uh, on Pokemon Center. This is in the U.S. I don't know about... I don't know about UK or other places, but in the US, these are up for pre-order. This is your standard booster bundle, like your 151. You got six packs inside. It's just a you know, little box. So um, these are purchase limit of six currently. So it's not like you're going to get a sealed display. Uh, the sealed displays were 10 booster bundles, I believe. Uh, so you're not going to be able to get those um, from here. But uh, these will probably be available at other retailers, and you might be able to get... Uh, a, seal, a display case if that's what you're looking at getting uh, those have been very popular for 151 they're doing really well right now um, but yeah so those are available currently as of this recording also um, these are just the regular ETBs these are not the Pokemon Center but these are available for pre-order on GameStop currently uh, you can save a few bucks if you have a pro membership uh, 47 bucks so I think this product um, you know a lot of people were I think a lot of people were scrambling right after the Pokemon Center ETB sold out the first time. They'll probably come back, but uh, you know, I think a lot of people were, and while this product will be, you know, maybe a little hard to get, you gotta be on your toes to get it. You gotta understand with a specialty set, specialty sets are usually printed pretty heavily. And we'll look at 151 as an example. Well, 151 just recently took off for a long time. It was, widely widely available right it was easy to come by it's not as e you can still get it it's easy to come by now but it's a bit more expensive you can still get it um so i would expect that this set will be printed fairly heavily uh, it should be available at a lot like big box stores right your lgs is going to have it so a lot of people should have access uh to to getting this these boxes i i wouldn't freak out right if you didn't if you didn't get a pre-order in i would not be freaking out at all I wouldn't, right? I would just be, just wait, wait the storm out, right? Don't, don't ride the hype train, don't FOMO out. Um, these will be available, I mean, right now, right? As of this, if you're watching this video, they are available at MSRP, okay? So don't, don't freak out. And the Pokemon Center ETBs, like I said, will most likely be back. There is not a guarantee that they will be back, but if this follows other sets, then it will definitely be back. So that is the Prismatic Evolution news for the day. I just wanted to uh, share that with you guys. I think, let me know what you guys think about the SIRs. Let me know in the comments below. I'd be interested to hear everyone's take on the SIRs. I know the crowns are controversial, so I like hearing what you guys have to think. Um, but that's going to do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.